All right, I thought I might do a quick update on my uh, non-stop running devices that I've been working on. And um, if you look back a few uh, videos, you'll see this thing here that uh, I put this together back in November, November 20th. And it's that, um, you can't see it very well. It's the stainless steel and Epsom salts uh, in the water battery, rechargeable battery uh, with a um, 3 volt 70 milliampere hour amorphous solar panel that charges this up um, in indirect sunlight and then room light and then uh, this has been running since the 20th of November and it drops down to about 0.62 at night and goes up as high as about 1.6 point, uh, 1 1.7 volts during the day and uh, it runs at about uh, 20 to 50 milliamps or microamps uh, 20 to 50 microamps so I thought I would do something else with this idea since this was working. And the question I had was, how much does it really need? So I built that thing right there. That's a super capacitor. It's a hybrid 220 farad with the same uh, solar panel. And um, I've got it running this little um, waving motion device that runs at uh, about... Uh, I'm thinking about 75 microamps because it fluctuates from 100 down to 20. So I'm going to call it about 50 to 75 microamps. And we're going to see how long that's going to run. Same idea, charges up during the day, uh, discharges at night. And I'll just see if this keeps running. Uh, the way these devices work is as the voltage goes down, the amperage uh, draw goes down also. So we're just going to see what happens. But I ran that power unit there on this for several weeks just to see what it would do and it worked quite well and so today I thought well let's go the other direction just to see how small we can go so right there is a little tiny solar panel it's about a volt and a half about 50 to 70 microamps it runs one of those waving flowers and that's a polysyrene battery or polycern or sirene or whatever they want to call it um, it's actually a capacitor super capacitor it's about half a farad and I'm gonna see what happens with this and just see how many hours that's gonna run on that half farad super cap being charged up by that little solar panel in the indirect uh, solar energy situation and also the uh, light that's in the room here and it's pitch black out there right now. It's night. And uh, I just have the light in the house here. But uh, I just wanted to see what would happen. Uh, going the other direction, see how many hours this would run. And I'm thinking maybe three or four hours, perhaps. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale that up. I have a bunch of these. And I'm going to keep putting them in parallel, putting them in parallel, putting them in parallel. And just see if I can get a gauge on how much energy how many joules of energy I need to keep that blocking oscillator running day and night and uh, we're in uh, dead of winter here I'm at 34 degrees north latitude I'm in uh, the LA area uh, California uh, so this is about as dark as it's gonna be and we're in the rainy season too and I'm just gonna see how many joules we're gonna need to run something like this all the time I think this is overkill I don't think we need this much, to tell you the truth. Um, I've been really surprised to see how well this works, and that's with my homemade rechargeable. But uh, once I got that running on a supercapacitor, now I'm going to go the other direction and see just what do we really need to make these things run all the time on ambient light in the home. And here again, I've got quite a bit because I'm in beautiful, sunny Southern California. But it is winter time and it does rain here, so we do have the cloudy days. But uh, that has been holding its own since November 20th. Anyway, that's the latest update on my little um, non-stop running devices. Real interesting little project. Thanks for watching.